Hello everyone, I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. The Oklahoma State Department of Health is reminding people to stay vigilant after a West Nile infection was found through a blood donor screening from someone in East Central Oklahoma. Health officials warn mosquitoes increase in mid to late summer, so be sure to dump out and drain buckets, cans, pots, anything that holds water so they don't have a place to breed. You can use insect repellent with DEET when you go outdoors and wear long sleeves, pants, and repair or install window screens if you can. The Oklahoma Department of Transportation is recommending a large number of Oklahoma school districts change bus routes because of dangerous bridges. They recently sent a map to school districts recommending they change routes that cross co uh, county roads with weight limits less than 18 tons. ODOT says this is about the size of a school bus with students on board. ODOT is required to inspect county bridges 20 feet and over at least twice a year. But bridges less than 20 feet aren't required to have inspections. And if you're looking for something to do this weekend, the OKC Zoo's Tiger Twins, born back in July, will finally be on public display. Luna and Bob, along with their mother, will be out for two hours each day from 9 to 11. You might even get a lucky chance to see them exploring their brand new home. All right, let's get over to meteorologist Michael Sager for a look at that forecast. Hey, Michael. Hopefully everybody's off to a great start today. And as we go into the afternoon, temperature wise, we're going to be warming up to around that 90 degree mark this afternoon. Average highs in the upper 80s, so pretty close to what we would typically see for this time of year. Sunshine, a few clouds mixed in. We'll drop back into the 70s this evening and eventually work our way back into the 60s tomorrow morning. Very nice start tomorrow. Rain chances are looking slim at best on Sunday. That'll be with the cold front moving in, but we will keep a chance for some showers, mostly north and west Saturday night into Sunday. The bigger story with that cold front will be the cool down from 92 Saturday to 80 on Sunday. We'll enjoy it. We'll warm right back up though by the middle of next week.